Hey everybody, in this video, we're back with the Mevo Plus answering your questions. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you here. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've been outside with the Mevo Plus. Gonna show you some rounds out there. Very interesting to play on the range, a lot of fun too. So we'll show you that. And also we have more coming up from course vlogs. Getting out, we're gonna be in Arizona. Gonna be playing some of the best courses in the country out there. So don't miss out on those videos. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Today, we are going to get the Mevo Plus out. We had a question sent in about the unit, very, very specific about the dimensions and can this unit work in anything smaller than what is recommended. So, I mean, the first thing is I would recommend not using it in less dimensions than what's recommended. Now, that's just because that's what Flight Scope says to use it. I would think they would wanna not have it stretch out too far. You know, if they could make the dimensions smaller that are recommended, I think they would do it because that brings more people into play where they could get more units out there. Now, could it work? You know, I've used radar units in dimensions that are smaller. You get it to work, you can make it happen, but is it ideal? Not really sure. We're gonna try out these specific dimensions that were sent in from somebody in the UK wanting to know if they can use it in their garages because I guess the garages over there are built pretty standard and at a size that's pretty small. So without further ado, let's try it out. All right, so we're here. We had a request for specific dimensions, kind of a specific setup to see if the Mevo Plus and how it would react. So what I've done is we've come over to one of our practice bays that we use here inside, do some just swing work and we're getting as close to the wall as possible. So the dimensions that we're, you know, we're talking about are, I guess in the UK, garages are only about nine feet wide, they're about nine feet tall, and they go about 16 feet deep. So you're gonna have to set this unit up, unit up in that type of space, really close to something on the side. So that was the request. So we got over here as close as we can um, to where we still have a hitting spot because we're not set up for that specific dimensions. But, you know, there are metal studs in the wall. You know, we're doing some repairs on it now, so the walls are opened up. So there's metal there. Put some stuff here and, uh, you know, just try to get that feel of what the unit's gonna do as we go. Now, the other thing that they requested was, you know, moving the unit up to seven feet, seeing what's gonna happen if we move it up there. So the, remember, the eight foot from unit to ball, that's recommended, eight foot, minimum on the flight. Now, if you can get more flight, I don't see why you don't do that because with a radar unit, get as much flight as you can. But let's just see it. I've got it running right now. We're taking a look. I've got the, I love the new app, by the way, that Flight Scope's putting out there. Um, I really do like this and how it's just laid out a little bit easier. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's something different to talk about. So let's just hit some shots. I've got a seven iron. I do have a dot on the ball. Everybody always asks for that. So we'll give you the dot and let's just hit some shots. Let's see how the unit reads, kind of having some stuff right on the edge. Okay. Chunked it. So it shouldn't go very far. 117, 64, 64 on the spin. Seems okay. Um, yeah, let's just hit one better than that. Let's see what we get. That one was hit pretty good. Didn't get it on that one. It got a little bit of info there, but again, we're at that short flight. I think at the short flight, you're, you're gonna push your luck a little bit. I think you gotta get your eight feet. Junked again, 120. So it's reading them. Let's see if we get a good one. Bad, a little better. It's getting up there, 141. Definitely a little slow today. We were doing junior camps all week. So 68, 66 on the spin. Spin's reading good. So let's see, let's just keep hitting a couple. Maybe it just didn't read that one. They got that one. 
150 in the air. I hit that a little thin, so I expect the spin to be down. It is. So, I mean, yeah, is it reading? It is. Let's take a look at the 3D graph. Again, I'm loving this new, uh, new look. Yeah, everything felt like it was going left. So that's, that seems right. Um, yeah, I think everything's looking pretty good there. So I, I'd say I don't necessarily worry about that left and right area as much. I would worry, you know, the, the Mevo Plus is looking for such a small zone where the ball is in. You know, it's about six inches wide. So, you know, I'm not too worried about stuff on the side. You saw back when we were in quarantine, I was in my garage. I mean, that was pretty tight quarters. Had metal everywhere. Things were working fine. Have it in even a little closer. Still seems to be working okay. Again, can't recommend you, you go with that because that's not what FlightScope recommends. But, I mean, I do have it in. It does seem to be picking up. I have used other radars, moving it in closer than what the recommended uh, distance was. They do pick up, but again, that's gonna come down to, I think, what you get and what you have and how your, your environment is. So, so far in mine, we were able to move it in a foot. We are able to have it set up kind of in a claustrophobic environment, and we're still getting good reads with it, seeing everything work out pretty good. All right, so there it is. You can see we used the unit. Um, it works good. I think it worked fine, but I think, again, it's gonna really depend on your situation. If you can have that room that's required, I'm always gonna say, yes, you need to have that room. If you have less room than that, you're always gonna be taking a little bit of a chance that, hey, the unit and your environment aren't compatible. So I think that's something you have to think about. Are you willing to take that risk on the unit? You know, maybe if you get it and you, it doesn't work, you can resell it then. But I mean, that's just kind of up to you. I, I wouldn't recommend getting it if you're not going to have the required dimensions. I'd want to use it at what it's meant to be used for. So again, you saw it worked pretty good, had the dot on there. I definitely would have a dot if you're going any shorter than what we're already at. I like my, you know me and my rounds, I like my randomness, I love my random flyers here and there, so, you know, no, the dot doesn't always make it on there, but I would definitely have a dot if I was going shorter, give that unit every advantage to pick up the ball as good as possible. So, probably could make it work, but again, not gonna recommend it, because that's not what Flight Scopes recommends it. So, just something to think about, hopefully you saw some shots that you can use and make a decision for yourself. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Again, we'll have more with the unit playing golf outside. We're gonna have more with the unit being out in Arizona. Can't wait to take it to some courses that are actually in the E6 software, try it out. So we're gonna do that. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.